Hello, happy Wednesday. We are back twice this week, guys. We get two chances to chat. I'm so excited. It is Wednesday. It is time for our weekly chat here with We Crochet over on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. You can watch us in either location. You can watch us live the replay. Um, but we have a lot of fun here. We get to chat. We get to bring in some guests. We get to talk about new things. It is always wonderful to have you guys here. In case you don't know, my name is Caitlin and I am the editor and marketing manager here for We Crochet. Hi, Dawn. It is great to see you and Heather, you as well. As you guys come in, just say hi, say hello, where you're watching from, what you're doing, what you're working on. Just chat with us. If you have questions along the way, you can go ahead, um, put them in the chat and we will do our best. We also have Janice here who is in the background. She is going to be doing all of our linking for us today. So you'll be able to get them all in there. Okay. I'm sure you guys can hear these notifications. I don't know how to get them to stop. Um, I tell it that I'm busy and I'm in a meeting and do not disturb me, but that does not seem to work. So hopefully it's not too loud and hopefully people stop pinging me. Uh, <laughs> hi, Julia. It's great to see you and Cindy and Kelly and Maria. Man, everybody's coming in today. So glad you guys could catch us live. If not, it's okay. We still enjoy you. We still love having you here. You can still comment if you are watching the replay. We'll get to see those comments come in and questions, and we will do our best to answer them quickly. Okay, before we get started, there's just a couple things that I want to make sure you guys know about. Um, yes, Julia just brought it up. She said the sales on your website are killing me. Sorry, but not sorry. I don't know. Today launched our big sale. This is our annual sale that we have um, right here in the month of November. You can get crazy awesome deals on yarn and different tools along the way. We have stuff going on for the almost the entire month of November. Well, we do have stuff going on the entire month of November. There's the link for the big sale that launched today. So that's going to be discounts on yarn that we have. Um, each color is different uh, for the sale prices. So you're just going to have to kind of click around, find the colors you're looking for, find the yarn that you're looking for, and then you'll be able to see what is going on. Um, oh, Okay, so I'll just say it. Ashley's my guest today, and Sarah is here, and Sarah is her wonderful assistant um, and everything else. So I got to meet Sarah and Ashley, and okay, this is off topic, but I got to meet them in person in 2019, I guess it was, when we went to um, Creativation, and so they are wonderful people. I'm so excited to chat with them today, so we'll talk about that in just a minute, but I want to remind you, we have the 2024 calendar available, so you can go ahead and grab that if you want. It's got some beautiful photos of yarn along the way, so you can plan out your 2024. Um, also, we have, oh, I wanted to bring this up. We have our really cute notions dish that we talked about last time. This is by uh, Sweet Bee Pottery. These are very limited in the numbers. So if you want one, go ahead and grab it. You're only going to get this teal color here on the We Crochet website. She does have other options if you check out her Etsy store. Uh, that's really great too. But this color here is only from us. It's just a little notions dish. These are perfect for gifting. Um, whether you just like sheep or you like yarn or put it on a list that somebody could get for you, maybe a secret Santa list or something like that. These are a really great option. Um, so yeah, so the big sale is going on this week. If you spend $55, you will get a free project bag when you use the coupon code. It's going to be on our homepage that you'll be able to find that information. Or if you're signed up for our email list, you'll also get it there to be notified of all of the sales and deals that are going on. Um, there you go, Dawn. I'm asking Santa for early Christmas and early birthday cash for yarn. Love it. It is the time to stock up when the prices are this low. I mean, you're not going to get them for a better price. Um, Maria says Hawthorne is such a great yarn. We love Hawthorne. And if you didn't see it, Hawthorne is now in DK. So you have two weight options. You have fingering and you have DK. Um, Heather is saying, I purchased Latte Mighty Stitch for $2.99 a ball. Guys, it's not going to get better. Hopefully, Heather, you are joining in the crochet along we talked about Monday with Veronica, that's using Mighty Stitch for her project. So what a great time to be able to go and stock up. Um, oh, Cindy said she started on her Bellini sweater. So that's awesome. That's using Hawthorne in fingering. Um, uh, just curious, does the sweater quantity 10% discount code uh, go on the yarn sale? 
Oh, Maria, I have not checked that. I'm pretty sure it does. Try it out though, um, because it's a sale price and then you would use that coupon code. You just won't be able to use another coupon code with it, but try it out in the cart. I cannot remember how that all worked. We'll have to try that out and then we can get back to you. Okay, I've done enough talking. I've done enough rambling. Let me bring our wonderful guest in for today. Today we have Ashley of Heart Hook Home. Hello, hello. Hello, it is so wonderful to see you in per well, not person, but in person, you know, whatever. Close enough. <laughs> close enough. It's as close as we're going to get for how far apart we live. Um, right. Unless we end up together at an event, so which was so awesome when we finally got to meet. I in know. Person. Was it was a great. great time. Yeah. Um, and so Ashley is here. So Ashley um, has been one of our featured designers, our designer spotlights in the past. Um, she's a phenomenal designer and an amazing crocheter. This is one of her patterns, the Lorraine cardigan, which you can find on her website um, that uses Swish DK, one of my favorites. Um, but so Ashley is so amazing and she's been doing so many patterns with our yarn and I love getting to work with her. And we teamed up to create a new collection. She was willing to work with us on this brand new collection and that is why she is here today. We just launched our collection called Harvest Moon, which is a five pattern collection of Tunisian crochet patterns. We had to ask an expert to come in and help us with Tunisian and Ashley is that expert. If you don't know, what you just recently did, um, you did the basics of Tunisian crochet that you could learn all the basics. And now you're doing a six week, like advanced course, if you want to call it to kind of learn the extras I'm signed up. I'm learning so much. Like when you drop a stitch, how to increase and decrease all those things you don't really think about, but you really do need to know. So we've got the expert. We're here to talk about this brand new collection. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, I am so excited. I'm really excited that it's finally live. I feel like we've been working on it for so long. <laughs> yeah. If it's here, it's here. I can't believe it. You know, the, the mailman uh, or I got a notification that it was delivered in my mailbox. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, <laughs> so exciting. So I'm glad that we can finally talk about it. Yeah, I hope you love it as much as we do. I think the photos turned out absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that cover. Um, you can get this in, we just threw up the collection link there. So when you click on that, you'll be able to see all the individual patterns. You'll see the ebook and you will see the print book. So you can get it in any one of those formats, depending on what you're liking. And today we're going to talk about each of the patterns, what they are, why you're going to love them and everything else. Before we do that though, Ashley, I think we should make the announcement of the brand new product that we have launched. Well, half of it is launched. We're still getting photos for one because they came in late, but it is so, so exciting. So, okay. Tunisian crochet uses a special hook. Well, not a special hook, but um, you need like a longer hook or you need it to have a cable on it to be able to fit all the stitches because you work them all on and then you work them all off instead of working one stitch at a time, just in case anybody doesn't know. That's real like 30,000 feet level. There's a lot more nuances and detail that you can all learn about, um, but those are the basics. And when you're out there and you're finding crochet hooks or Tunisian crochet hooks, most of them are a set. And that's it. You get one of every size and they call it a day. That doesn't work when you're working in the round. And some of the projects in here are worked in the round. When you work in the round, you need two Tunisian crochet hooks, one on each end to be able to do it. And we are so proud to announce that we have, oh, that's kind of hard to see, but we have crochet hook sets now that have two of each size in the kit <laughs> so that you can go ahead and you can work Tunisian in the round. So you not just get one, but you get two of each size. We also really cool worked with Ashley to update the sizes that we have in our sets. Um, because Ashley was kind of like, why do you go so small? When you work Tunisian crochet, you go up at least a hook size from what you would use in regular crochet. We don't need such small hooks. So we changed it. So we're starting here with a 4.5 millimeter and we're going up to an eight millimeter here. Okay, do you wanna tell them the last surprise that we have for these sets? Uh, okay, my favorite of the entire <laughs> thing. So if you have worked Tunisian crochet, even worked flat with a cable on your hook, or if you've worked it in the round in particular, you know that as you are going along, if you've got a lot of fabric on your hook, you've got to keep your hook in that one orientation, right? To pick up your loops. And if that 
cable gets twisted around on itself, then your wrist has to work really hard to hold it into place, right? So my favorite thing of this entire set is that the cords have swivels on the end. It's like mind blowing. <laughs> it is absolutely life changing. It is the most amazing. I mean, how did nobody ever think of this before is my question really. I don't know, but we talked to Ashley and we were like, well, this is kind of dumb that we're not doing it. So guess what? We did it. Mm -hmm. um, you will notice that the cables in this set are this gold color. So when you're looking on the website or when you're looking at different sets, you're going to see different colors of cables. And most of the time, the cables were more to match the hook set and everything else. Um, so we have a purple cable. We have a green cable. Um, but now whenever you see this gold cable... The gold cables are the swivel. So you can see here, like I can turn this really easily and it's not flipping my cord while I do it. So it just makes it yeah. so great. Um, for those of you who are knitters, we are bringing these over onto the knitting side as well. So you'll have swivel cables for your knitting needles, but they're launching here with the Tunisian cables or the Tunisian hook set um, with the, the cables. I will say too, we are getting regular sets that are going to reflect the new sizes with only one hook. And those will also come with the swivel cable. So you'll have the option of getting it as a double um, hook set for Tunisian in the round or a single set of Tunisian hooks, but they will all come with the swivel cables from now on. So when you look at the website, there is a color, it's um, the pur uh, not purple, it's like a reddish color, it's called Radiant. Those are the original hooks that we have. So those are coming with the, the plain cables. If you're looking for swivel, you want to get the Caspian, which is the green. And in the next day or so, we're going to have this color too, which is like a natural wood color. This is called our Sunstruck. So the Sunstruck and the Caspian are the only two that are going to come with the swivel cables. So just make sure you read the description because it specifically says in the description if it comes with the swivel cables. Everybody is chiming in, so excited for the cables, loving that the cables. Um, yes, the cables will work with the crochet hooks and knit picks needles that you already have. So we changed nothing about the connectors. The only thing we changed is that it is now a swivel. The cost of this set, um, what did you say it was, Ashley? Oh, for, I forget now. For the one set with one size of each hook, it was $49.99. And then for two sizes of each hook, it was only $10 more, which is like, yeah. why not, you know? Thanks, I mean, really? $59.99 for this set. Okay, guys, like, I know this is our product, and I think Ashley can attest to this. Yes, we love it. Yes, we put a lot of thought and effort into this. Yes, we're changing it to be what you need. At $60 for a double set, that's a killing. Like you can't get like you can't get regular sets that reasonably priced. They're very no, expensive. And you need to buy two of them if you were to do that. Right. Right. So right. you're looking at like yeah. 150 bucks or ish, yeah. you know, for a, a complete set. Right. So Yes, we're tooting our own horn just slightly, um, but we're only doing it because we really, really believe in these sets. We really believe that it's offering you guys a value. We're bringing the new swivel cords to you to make it easier for you. Because let me tell you, I started out without the swivel cords on a project I'm working on. And I said to Ashley, oh my gosh, my wrist hurts. It's terrible. Like, it was horrible. I got the swivel cords. Yeah. It made such a difference when we got those samples in that I was able to work with. That's part of the reason that my Tunisian basket weave blanket took as long to publish as it did because I was working on it. It felt like forever, but I couldn't do a whole lot of rows because right. especially I was using Brava Bulky and it's a yeah. throw blanket. And I'm like, you've got all that blanket on your hook. And I was like, Duh. <laughs> it was awful. Yeah. But yes, having it. And that uses an eight millimeter hook too. So that would cover what yeah. your, you know, what the hook sizes go up to which is pretty yes. awesome. But and we are getting larger sizes. They're coming, but they're going to be sold individually. They will not be sold as part of the set. That is like our wave two that is going to be coming in hopefully within the next month, um, which we'll talk about when those are here, but they will not be part of the set. They'll just be an individual if you need it for whatever size you're going up to. Yeah. We're really eight millimeter though. That's pretty much as typically as large as you'd ever want to go. So it's perfect. I think the sizing is perfect. 
we are so excited about it. And we should say that there's four cables inside of it. There's two that are the 24 inch and then there are two that are larger. Um, and so that makes it really great for doing blankets um, because yes, you can get a straight one that does not have the cable to it, but I still think that gets really heavy too. And you can only fit so many stitches on a straight Tunisian hook. So with the cable, it allows you to add so many more stitches um, along the way. So we're so excited. It's fabulous. Okay. So we've talked about the exciting thing. Let's talk about the other exciting thing, the collection. So we have, um, oh, you're so welcome for all the information, Kathleen. I hope you'll go check out those Tunisian hooks and you will grab a set as soon as you can because they're totally worth it. Um, and also too, if you are buying the double set, guess what? That puts you over the $55 mark. So make sure you use the promotion code to get your free project bag uh, for this week. So just, you know, don't forget. And the yarn sale. <laughs> and the yarn sale. You can grab the yarn for these projects on sale right now. So let's chat about this. We have Jen in the studio who we're going to bring in as we talk about it. Ashley's got some of her samples. I've got a sample here. So we've got a lot to talk about and a lot to cover. So let's dive in. Um, so in this collection, we have five different patterns. And we really tried to work with Ashley to talk about things that would be size inclusive, but not have a ton of shaping in every project. And we tried to do it that it was like a building block that you could kind of start with something basic. You could kind of add on to it each time that you worked it to kind of build your confidence in Tunisian. And so when we did it, we started here with a duster. And the reason we started here was because it was three panels that you were putting together. So you were working flat. You were not shaping, you were not going in the round, you were making your three panels and you were seaming them together. So yes, the stitch is not a traditional like Tunisian knit stitch, um, but you get to work with the stitch and learn a stitch in this pattern as opposed to having to worry about kind of anything else. So do you wanna tell us a little bit about this pattern? I'm gonna bring Jen up while we're talking so that we can see this um, project. So. Hi, Jen. Welcome in. Let me bring you to the forefront. Um, go ahead, Ashley. So why don't you tell us a little bit about this duster and what you love the most about it? That looks so great. Well, number one, I love the grapefruit colorway. I think that that color is just absolutely amazing. It sets it off completely. I wanted this to be a really almost a boho feel where it had that nice open stitch work. And you can see that it's got those lines that look both horizontal and vertical because of the stitch that we're using. So it's got that really open effect. Honestly, I have mine somewhere here. I couldn't for the live or I would have put it on. But I have mine and I have a drawstring that I use as a swimsuit cover up as well this summer. Wow. It's pretty amazing, right? I love that Double idea. Use. Yeah. Super cute. So that one goes down to about my mid calf, um, which of course it's it's absolutely gorgeous. I just love the way that it drapes and it flows and it feels really good. Yeah. It's actually my profile picture on my Facebook page, my personal page. And when I published that, everybody was like, oh, my gosh, where's that vest? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that's it. And it's gorgeous. And it's it's really, really easy. It's just three panels. And it's so if you did mm -hmm. the Tunisian basics crochet along with us um, this summer, you know how to make a square. Right. So this is literally just three rectangles. That's it. And then we seam the shoulders, seam the sides for a little bit and you are good to go. So there are um, multiple sizes in that one as well. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, and the sample that we have here and the way that the pattern is written, it does have kind of like that large slit on the side down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of only seeming from your armpit about to like your hip level. Right. Um, but you could totally adjust it if you want it to be a bigger split in there. If you don't want to split at all, seam it all the way down. There's so many options that you can do with this great base pattern to just tweak it a little bit to make it your preference. Um, right. I'd love this too, because we showed it two different ways in the book. Um, we showed it, let me just see. So here in this picture, we showed it like with a white um, undershirt, like a long sleeve shirt, which is really great and really beautiful. But we also showed it this way where she's just wearing a t-shirt right. and it just adds a nice little layer when you need it, right? Like it's not going to give you a ton of bulk. It's not going to give you a super ton of warmth, but it is a nice little layer to add a little bit of something, add that pop of color as Sarah is saying, because that color is divine. We it's love the gorgeous. great color. Um, we should say though about this pattern that we learned while we were doing the sample making, when you are look checking your gauge, 
Make sure you're not stretching your swatch too far because this yarn, um, let me make sure I say it's the right yarn before I mess it up. This yarn is shine. It's going to bounce back to where it wants to be. So don't overstretch your gauge swatch while you're working this. Kind of let it do its thing and then measure to see if you need to change your hook size. The same thing when you're getting ready to do the construction as well. So when you block your pieces before constructing them, do not over stretch, right? Because <laughs> it will yeah, bounce yeah. way into that. <laughs> yeah, we kind of learned that lesson along yes, the way. Yes, we did. <laughs> All good. But it turned out gorgeous. We love it. Um, and it's just a great little layering piece. Also note on this one, that is a great gift option because it's not a ton of sizes. So you don't have a lot of shaping that you're trying to like figure out. You don't have sleeve length that you're trying to figure out. Um, you know, you can really just make a quick garment for somebody um, if you want to be gifting for this holiday season because it is three quick panels, kind of whip them up, seam them yeah. together. And another reason I left the armhole it. as open as I did. So because I didn't yeah. want it constricting at all to go over right. anything like a t-shirt or a tank top or anything. So yeah. yeah. We love it. We love it. We love it. Okay. So let's talk about the next one. So this is the sample that I have here. So this is called our Comet Keyhole Scarf. Okay. So you're going to see, yeah, Ashley went with a totally different color palette than what we did. So let me throw this on. So we went with a gray solid color and then we went with the reds. Um, so this is our chroma. And so we're allowing chroma to really do the color play for us. So you have a, a solid color of chroma. And then you'll see here we go into the variegated color chroma. It's got this cute little tassel on the end. And we called it the keyhole because it has keyholes in it. So let me take mine apart and just show what this looks like. So it is a, um, uh, it's not really a triangle uh, because... Well, I guess it is a triangle. It it's is like a, a triangle. long triangle scarf. I don't know. Yeah. You start here, you know. And then it <laughs> turns into a rectangle. Like <laughs> yeah. So you're working um, with the gray color or your main color or your solid color here. And then you're going into your other color. You could do this all one color if you want to. Um, and then you're working these little holes in here. And that's what you're weaving the end through to get the look that Ashley is showing you there, which helps keep it cinched up. So it's like a scarf because, I mean, technically you could just wear it like this if you wanted to. But it really turns it into a cowl of sorts by putting, weaving it through here so it's not going to fall off. And the little bunching that happens, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, um, the light plays off it so pretty. I know. I know. So do you want to tell us anything else about this one? Um, this I one, should say too, this one is available as a kit. So when you look up this pattern, you can grab a kit to get the two different colors. We gave some color examples that you might be interested in. So this one, I, I just really wanted the, I loved the idea of having a very bright color next to a very dull color, right? So I wanted to showcase, especially if you've got it coming through the holes, how gorgeous that is just contrasting next to each other. So I, it came up with the concept of this pattern without really thinking about what stitch I wanted to use for it. So deciding how to increase from the bottom point here as you grow it up, let me take this off. As you grow um, from the bottom point up, it took me a lot of tries to get this to look very seamless and, and a nice increasing, right, without being having large gaps or anything else. So I decided on the Tunisian pearl stitch because I love when we do the yarn color change here, how you've got that ridge that goes across there. I thought that was absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I mean, I... I don't know. It's just probably one of my favorite things. And you would think it was so simple, but this actually took me longer to design than this sweater behind me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's I, my borrowing. But well, yeah, it's, I love it. It's different when you have to do the increases for Tunisian and figuring out how you want them to look, where you want them to sit to get what you want. I love it too, because it really is a reversible piece. Like both sides are gorgeous mm -hmm. that you can wear it either way that you want to. Yeah. And, if you, you know, look at the backside, it almost looks like the Tunisian reverse stitch, which right. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Right. 
And so it gives you the opportunity. Like I'm still playing with mine because I'm trying to figure out how tight I want it. But you can kind of wear it a little over your shoulders. It's going to hold it in place. I mean, look at this. It's just gorgeous. Like wear it over your or under your coat. Have this part sticking out a little bit. I mean, or just wear it whenever. It is really gorgeous. I love this piece so much. And using the chroma, you're getting this really warm piece that you can wear because chroma is 70% superwash wool, 30% nylon. So it's this really great fabric. It is not itchy at all against your skin. Um, it's just really nice. It's going to keep you warm while you're wearing it. So we really, really love this one. And you don't need that much yarn to make these either. No. The scarf. I think it's a three yes. balls total. Mm -hmm. So the gray one. in mm -hmm. our sample uses one, and then you're using two of the striping color, which in this case we used Sedona for mm -hmm. ours. I think you used Sedona as well. I think I used Tiki. Oh, Tiki. Okay. They're Maybe. similar colors, but a little different. Yeah. So, this is Tiki. We, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. We love it so much. This is a really great project. Um, again, okay. So I know I talk about this all the time. Every time we get to the holidays, teacher gifts, awesome teacher gifts, because it is really um, flexible again in the sizing. So it doesn't matter how they like to wear something like, cause when you make a cowl, it's kind of a set size where this is really more flexible, really great option for gifting as well. You know, it's that time of year. We've got to start thinking of what we're gifting, who we're gifting for, right? <laughs> yep. Work them up as fast as you can. <laughs> so yeah. <I'm> so <laughs> Um, okay, so we started with a simple construction, three flat panels. We went into learning how to increase. Now we're starting to branch into in the round. And we're doing that with the Eclipse Tunisian Cocoon. And the reason this is in the round is the body of this is worked flat in a rectangle. And then you're getting in the round when we're adding the cuffs onto the piece. So you're still doing mostly flat Tunisian, mostly like that beginner friendly piece, working with some stitching, but then you're going to start working in the round and learning how to do that while you do the cuffs of this. So let me bring Jen up a little bit bigger here so we can see this beautiful cocoon. I mean, come on, look at that drape. It does not get much better than that. Um, this one is done in Brava Tweed and it is gorgeous. There are two sizes to this pattern because it is meant to be um, very oversized. So there's like a one size fits most type of thing, but there's two size options that you can pick from for this particular pattern. Do you want to tell us about this one, Ashley, why you kind of chose maybe the stitch pattern? Um, talk a little bit about the collar that gets added on here as well for us. Okay, this one, I wanted something that works up really quick. And so one of the stitches, it's funny, um, all of the stitches used in the pattern collection are the favorite ones throughout the Tunisian Basics crochet along. So that ends up to oh, be really great because go. this one was one of the most loved stitches in the crochet along and it is the yarn over lace stitch. And it's, so I wanted to use this in this design because it has that amazing drape. Like look at how like mm -hmm. almost not see-through, but like it's just got that great flow and the great feel to it. You would think right. that a cocoon would be really warm, which it is, but it's got such great um, flow to it that you're not like suffocating while you're wearing it, you know? Right. And then the Brava Tweed, ooh, I just love it. it those little specks of color um i there's that rose finch colorway absolutely yes. dreamy i've been wanting to work one up in that and then they've got that new blue um brava tweed absolutely yeah. gorgeous um but yeah you can wear that with jeans and to go out on a date night or over your yoga pants you know to, to watch a movie around the house and it's almost like wearing a big blanket so yeah, the edging um the edging is worked um in the round. So once we get this huge rectangle done, then we fold it and we seam the sides like you can see there. Um, and then we add the cuffs and the edging in the round. So we start there at the edge and we just go around and around and around and around. And so this is the first opportunity in the collection to learn how to do that in the round. But look how gorgeous that is. I love the edgings like that. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Got that nice, thick, wide border. It's yeah. yeah, love it. How it creates that collar almost even. Yeah. I love it. I, I love it too. And let me tell you, okay, so working in the round for Tunisian sounds a little scary, or at least I thought it was a little scary until you try it. It's right. really not that scary. I told Ashley, I'm working on a cardigan project. Here is my in the round piece. It's my cuff and the start of my sleeve. So you can see here, I've got my swivel cable and I had to get two hooks. So I bought two individual hooks for this because this was before 
we had our sets, um, but it makes it so much easier to work with the swivel cables. And so you're working your stitches on, and now I would pull this all the way through and use the other end to work my stitches off. And then I'll pull it all the way back through and work my stitches on and off and on and off. Because really at this point, I can't add any more stitches on here or like for this other half or it gets too tight and you can't do it. So you're kind of working on and off instead of working all on and all off. I, I will say that in the in the pullover that we'll talk about here in a little bit, that one, since those rounds are so big and that one, your your cuff is so small, um, if you're working a larger project with a cable in between, you can fit the whole row on there, depending Good on point. how big the project is. Yeah. So um, as far as working in the round, um, I know you mentioned earlier that I have that advanced Tunisian crochet workshop going. Yeah. So today is actually week two, and I'm going to have that published here in a little bit as soon as we're done. <laughs> Obviously delayed today. Um, but next Hi. week, next week is the full Tunisian in the round advanced class. So that okay. is an excellent opportunity to really dig in. I've got a brand new pattern, actually a couple brand new patterns coming that are worked in the round. So you can practice that before you start doing some of these, you know, if you need, if you Love want it. the practice. So yeah, yeah. it's and not as good as it looks. Yeah, to Ashley's point too, it is, it was, I think, a little bit more of a challenge starting Tunisian in the round with the small circumference because you can't work as many, like you're switching back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So if you are working a larger circumference, like even on a hat or on a sweater, it's going to be a lot quicker and faster to be working those rounds, even though you have to switch back and forth just because you're going to have a lot more space for it. Speaking of the course, where can they find that over on your website yep it's on the website it's called continuing the cow because we have the tunisian basics that went for 14 weeks this summer and then last week was week number one today's week number two and then we're going through i don't know the next four weeks i guess <laughs> i think it's the middle of december and then at the end yeah. of it i'm releasing a brand new free pattern that has it's worked in the round and then we increase it work it flat we decrease it we work in the round it's amazing so we're going to use all of the techniques. <laughs> so, awesome. yeah. so again, also sign up for Ashley's emails because that's how you're going to know whenever something like this is going on. I know I follow her emails. That's how I find out about things. Um, but you'll find out new patterns. You'll find out these great courses and tutorials. And, you know, it's like she did it just for us. Hey, guys, guess what? We did talk about this, about the timing. And it's just working out perfectly so that you have all of the information that you need to be successful at any of these projects that you are working on. Um, so the next one in the collection that we have is the pillow that we have here, which is called our Spectral Tunisian Pillow. And this would be a really great one for working in the round because it is a larger circumference to make the pillow. Um, so it's going to be, you know, again, a little bit easier to get your stitches on. Oops. Bonus for this one, we have kits. And so you can go ahead and you can grab the kit, which is going to get you the yarn and the pillow insert that you need to go ahead and complete your pillow. I think the tassels are probably the best part of this pillow. I mean, it's gorgeous and everything else, but those tassels, my gosh, they set them off. We should I say love how the color contrast too. It's Yes. I was going to say, is yours done in one color? Because I know our sample's done in two. Yeah, I think they're actually the same. Just the lighting in my office is really weird today, um, but I'm okay. pretty sure they're the same. Um, I'm yeah, using... I think it's I think it's creme brulee and then oh one darker one. I can't remember which one it was. It wasn't the yeah. butterscotch, I don't think. Or maybe we it was. Used, we used butterscotch and sun baked. Okay. For ours. Yeah. So ours is a little bit darker than yours. Right. So I was thinking if you like two contrasting colors like this, this one's the uh swan and this one is the creme brulee. I was thinking if you did one of them in contrasting colors and then do another pillow in the opposite, and then you could oh. do like one solid swan color and like just have it all like tie together, do them in multiple sizes, some smaller, some a little bit um, larger, you know, and then just have, oh, just amazing. And then you can mix and match the tassels as well. Yes. So the, the point about this one, so this is another one that has worked in the round, obviously. And what's great about this one is that it, it, it is no harder, it's no more difficult to do something with two colors like that, this than it is to to do with just one color like it's literally mm -hmm. the same exact thing so you can really spice it up without having to change anything apart from your yarn color right isn't that yeah. beautiful yeah and so 
you know, not to give away too much, but how you do that is you're working your forward pass in one color, your return pass in another color. And so it's not like you have to switch every row or remember what you're doing. It's going to be your forward pass and your return pass is where you're switching and swapping your colors. That's and it. again, as Ashley is saying, you work this in the round and then you're seaming the bottom, stuffing the pillow and seaming the top. So really, you know, it's it's a great quick project for learning in the round because that's what you're doing for the whole thing. And I really love that idea of working it main color contrast or return pass, forward pass, flip flopping it for the next one. And so you have matching, but not matching. Right. Like yeah. complimentary. It's that would look gorgeous. Yeah, it feels really modern. I love it. Yeah. And the pattern is written for two different sizes. So we have one that's for a 16 inch pillow form and a 20 inch pillow form. Uh, so you can do the two sizes for your pillows as well if you want to go that route. So yeah, we're loving it. Me too. I think that <laughs> going to be in the office on all on the couches because we love it so much. Yeah. my I had this one on my couch taking pictures of it the other day and my boys yeah. sat down and they're, I said, who don't lean back on it? Like I just yeah. need to move it to a place where we can just look at it and not use it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible, right? Oh. <laughs> totally. Okay, so we finish off the collection by pulling everything together, and we're doing that with our Tranquil Tunisian pullover. Okay, guys, this was another stunning idea that Ashley had. So we have a sample that Jen has there. Ashley has a sample that's behind her. They are the same project, but the difference is is the sample that we have right there on the screen for you is actually worked with two colors and two different yarns. And Ashley's sample that she has right there is worked with the same yarn, same color. And so you get such a different look. All right, I'm gonna bring Jen up first so we can take a look at that one and then we'll bring Ashley up closer. And so you can see here that you kind of like see those pops of color coming through um, because you did your return pass with a second color there. Um, for this pattern, we went and we did the Brava as that main brown color, and then we did Chroma Worsted as the color for the return pass that you're getting to see pop through. So tell us a little bit about this one, why you chose to go with that color kind of popping through instead of doing it all solid. Um, let me bring Ashley up quick here just to show off the full solid version. Well, I, I when, when we first discussed the different options for this book and what we wanted to include in the in the pattern collection i definitely wanted to have a top-down sweater because mm -hmm. we just don't see that a lot in tunisian and so i wanted to make sure that that was included and i told i told caitlin i said even if you guys don't want this in the book i'm still making it so <laughs> so you're getting it one way or another because it's gorgeous um the reason one of the reasons is I've always been intrigued by Tunisian in two colors or how to do that. Before I even knew what Tunisian was or how to do it, it was always just something that was so beautiful and I thought it would be really difficult. And the point is that it's absolutely not. It is one of the easiest things you can you can do. So yeah. with, um, with this, we, we start top down obviously, which is great because we can try it on as we go to make sure it's, it's fitting as we like, right? And, you can choose to have the alternate color on the inside. So this is the actually the first, first one that I made. Um, and I used the dark um, heather, the dark gray heather um, of Brava 500. And then on the inside, I used a chroma, which looks oh, almost like gorgeous. a rainbow, if I can get it to show here, right? Almost yeah. looks like a rainbow as you look down in it. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see from the inside here. Look on your our way up. So that's oh, what it looks so like beautiful. on the inside. And you can't really see it very well unless you get and you like see how it cascades in the light, right? I, it's not even right. showing very well here, but I, it's almost like a stained glass effect. And I thought that was just so intriguing and so beautiful. So yeah, I yeah. have like six of these now. <laughs> 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 I mean, you want a solid one or do you want multicolors or do you want Brava? Do you want Brava Recycle? Do you want Chroma? Yeah. <laughs> right? Crazy. We love yeah, it. I'm I'm the I just, while you're talking, I'm bringing back up the other sample so they can see, because I think in the lighting at the office, you can see it just a little bit more how that color kind of pops through. Um, right. It's not easy 
to see. I do. I will say that when this one, because of the way that I write my patterns, I almost always include um, extra size up through 5XL. And so for this, I really, really, really wanted a tester for one of the larger sizes. And so Leanne is my amazing tester. She tests almost everything I put out um, that goes up to 5XL. And she tested the 4XL for me. And I did include pictures of her wearing that in the blog post about the Harvest Moon gorgeous because she did not put the cowl on and she did not put the pocket on, but she did mm -hmm. use two colors and it looks beautiful. She used a light gray and then I think it was the rouge pink on the inside. I can't remember. But it looked really gorgeous for um, on hers yeah, with hers, the tone as well. Hers was beautiful. And I really do love too that she decided to not do the collar because some people don't like things around their neck. And I that's fine. That's totally fine. It is possible to leave that collar off. You don't have to put the pocket on the front because it's seamed. You sew it on when it's all complete. It's not worked into the sweater. So you yeah. do have the opportunity to go ahead and take that off if you want. I mean, I think it's really cute, but that's okay. It's your choice. It's your pattern. You have to make something that you're going to want to wear. And I think she just did a really great job and it just shows another option. So you want to make sure you go check out that blog post then um, to see that additional option. It turned out really great. Yeah. And so we are using a worsted weight yarn for this one. I will say that I've started up one using the Bravo Recycle, which is a DK weight. It's a mm -hmm. size three yarn and it's got, it's, it's so much more lightweight because this is a little bit of a thicker Tunisian stitch. This is warm. Like we went to, I can't remember where it was. It was an outdoor something um, a couple of weeks ago and I wore this one and it, it was warm. Right. So yeah. if you want to have like a lighter weight one, use a thinner weight yarn and it'll just be a little mm -hmm. bit more squishy and a little bit more drapey and not as warm. So, right. Yeah. Just make sure you're checking your gauge before you do For that. Sure. And then you can figure out which size you need to make from the pattern. Um, okay. Sure. I want to go back just a second. There are a couple questions in here. Um, okay. So the question is what size yarn for the pillow? The pillow is done in our dishy, which is a cotton four weight yarn. Um, and you can find all this information in each individual pattern as well, if you need to go back and reference it. And the yarn weight for the keyhole scarf is a worsted weight. We used our chroma worsted yarn for that particular pattern. Um, so, oh yeah. So Maria said, working on small in the round part looks like a bit like a magic loop in knitting. Um, is it like that? Kind of ish, but not really. Because if this were knitting, I would have both of my needles in stitches working like this type of thing, you know, like working. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like it because you're part of your cable is out, but really my stitches are on one hook at a time and that's it. So I'm just switching between this one and this one and the cable size in the middle only matters if you're working a larger circumference where here my circumference is so small. I'm not actually using my cable other than to slide back and forth. So not quite the same as magic loop, but it gives you that look, you know, when I'm holding it like this. So yeah. So that is the Harvest Moon collection. I, I I don't even know what else to say. It is a fabulous collection. You guys are going to love it. If you haven't tried Tunisian crochet, please check out the resources that Ashley has. I've learned so much from her about Tunisian crochet um, and how to do different things as I'm going through my Tunisian journey. Um, up until this point, I really only made like one blanket in Tunisian crochet and it was just like simple stitches that you did blocks and then you seamed them together and it was wonderful and I loved it but I'm so ready to expand out of that. Hence, you know, why I just jumped right in and let's make a cardigan. Why start with something simple or basic? Let's just jump all right in. in. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can jump all in too by go ahead and grabbing this collection. There's five patterns inside of here. You can get it as the book, you can get it as an ebook, or you can download individual patterns. And just a reminder, if you're grabbing our books, don't forget about the wonderful folio that we have here. Make sure it's the right direction. Yeah, Ashley has her folio. Right. No, I was going to show you because this book fits perfectly underneath yep. these things. And you can like work off your whole project here. And then my favorite part about this whole thing is you see this? It's a yarn needle yes. because there's a magnet in there because it's freaking genius. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> yeah. 
So we love it. So you can keep your darning needle. If you've got metal stitch markers, you can put them right in here. You've got your room for your pencil, your pen, your hook, you know, whatever you're using. Um, you've also got room for scissors in here. You've got room for all kinds of stuff, a pocket here, a pocket on the outside. I mean, there's just so much. It's pulled everything together. You can fit either two of our pattern books in here, or you could put like a notebook on one strap, a pattern book on the other strap. And then like Ashley was saying, when you open this up, if you slide, this is always so hard to do while I'm holding it, but if you slide it over just a little bit, this other strap here comes around. So it holds it right in the margin. Um, so it holds your book open while you're working and you can go ahead and stitch your pattern. So we absolutely love this. You guys seem to be loving it too. They're flying really fast. So if you want to grab one, go ahead. It'll be the perfect companion to, oops, this way, to your new book. Um, but go ahead and check those out. And again, one more time, reminder to go check out Ashley's website. Sign up for her emails so that you get all the resources that she has. She tells you when all new patterns are coming out. They're wonderful. I, I can't say enough. I love Thank Ashley. You. I followed Ashley a long time. I was a total fangirl when I got to meet her in person. Now I feel like, you know, we're friends, whether or not she thinks we are, I don't know. Of but um, <laughs> we're always grateful to get to work with you. Thank you so much for joining us on this collection. Yeah, it was it's, great. It's a true dream. It. I love yeah. it. We learned a lot. It was amazing. Yeah. So thank you everybody for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed it too. Don't forget to shop the big sale. Grab your new set of Tunisian hooks, get your book, get your folio, get your yarn at a great discount. Um, you can go ahead and check that out and happy shopping to everybody. And we will see you next week. We're going to be back on Monday again. We're going to talk all things big sale, the new yarns we have, new products we have. We're going to go over all of that um, and let you know about some of the upcoming things. Ashley knows about things that are coming up, so I'm sure she's going to be sharing too, so you can follow along with her um, to be able to check that out. And don't forget, when you have a chance, use Ashley's links for shopping because it really does help her out, gives her a little bit of something and lets us know you're hearing it from her, which is what we love to do or love to see is where you're hearing about our great yarns from. So thank you so much, everybody. Thanks, yes, Ashley. Thank have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.